Hello guys and good day. So today we will start with another module. So this is all about torsion. So just sa module nyo, kung mapapansin nyo, meron din dyan tin walled. So yung tin walled kasi na-discuss na natin before. So focus lang tayo dito sa torsion. Okay, so let's discuss what is torsion. Okay, so consider a bar to be rigidly attached at one end. So na fix ito at one end, and the other end is twisted at the other, <laughs> and twisted at the other end by a torque or twisting moment T. Dito sa kabilang dulo, meron kang force. Ayan. Kusaan, this is acting at a distance D, and this force is producing a twisting moment T. Whereas, that T is just equals to force times the distance. So, parang moment lang siya, no? Twisting moment. So, from the term itself, moment. Sin twisting moment na yan, from the term itself, twist. So, pinipilipit niya yung bar mo. So, which is applied perpendicular to the axis of the bar, ayun nga, as shown in the figure. Such a bar is said to be in torsion. So yung condition na yan, yung uh, na-experience itong ating bar is under a torsion. Okay, so for a solid or hollow circular shaft subjected to a twisting moment T, the torsional shearing stress at a distance rho from the center of the shaft is given by the equation tau or the Torsional stress or the torsional shearing stress is equals to T, the twisting moment, multiplied by rho. So yung rho mo is any distance away from dun sa center ng ating bar. So ito kasi, merong mga problems na may nire-required ka lang distance para hanapin mo yung kanyang torsional shearing stress. So para mas maunawaan yung sinasabi ko, i-drawing natin, okay? So, meron ka ditong bar, circular bar, and then from the middle of that bar, ito kasi kahit sa anong distance yung rho. Okay? So, pwedeng sa gitna yan, 1 fourth, 3 fourths, etc. So, depende sa pinapahanap sa problem. But if you're going to solve for the maximum torsional shearing stress, so yung rho mo is mapapaltan lang ng radius r. Okay, so or that is just equals to this equation. Okay? Kapag ang pinapahanap again is yung maximum. Okay, so ano ba yung J natin? J is the polar moment of inertia. Kung, so kung matatandaan nyo doon sa inyong SRB or the static of rigid bodies, so J is just the sum of your IX and IY. So, or the moment of inertia with respect to the x-axis and the y-axis. So, sum lang yan. Okay, so let's proceed with the next slide. So, for this solid cylindrical shaft, uh, gi they know, given with the diameter D, so, minsan kasi sa problem, ang bibigay sa inyo is T. Okay, so, knowing that J, so, pag isosol mo yung si J, that is just equals to pi D raised to 4 over 32. So, when you substitute that in the original equation, Dito, dito sa ating equation na ito, ayan. So, kung ipapalit mo siya dyan, ito yung kakalabasan mong equation. Na-derive itong formula ng ito. Okay? So, huwag malilito, ako ay prefer na ang sa ulo nyo na lang is yung TR over J. Knowing, ito, kaya nyo siyang i-derive since kayo nga ay may SRB na. And J nga alit is equals lang sa IX plus IY. Okay? So, na-derive itong formula ng to. Pero nasa sa inyo, kung gusto nyo, ito nyo na lang sa uloyin nyo. Okay, so, but ako nga, I prefer na i-derive na lang siya since medyo hindi ako ganun kagaling sa, sa uluhan. Ano, so, as much as possible, kung kaya ko siyang i-derive using the one formula, why not, di ba? Next, we also have for a hollow cylindrical shaft or kapag butas yung gitna niya. So given dito sa diagram, you have an inner diameter of small letter D and yung outside diameter given as the capital letter D. And if you're going to solve for J, this is the formula. 
pi quantity of d raised to 4 minus the small letter d raised to 4 over 32. So with that, you will arrive at this equation. Okay? So 16 times t capital letter d over pi quantity of d raised to 4 minus small letter d raised to 4. Okay, so next, we have this what we call the angle of twist. So denoted by the symbol theta. So yung angle of twist mo, kung sa actual deformation siya, ito yung parang pinaka-deformation kapag ang pinag-usapan natin is torsion. Ano? So parang ito yung kanyang re-represent sa kanya. Okay, so what will be the formula for that? So that is just equal to TL all over JG. Kung saan yung ating angle nga through which the bar length L will twist. Where T is the torque in Newton mm but then again hindi to limited lang dito kasi ito is in SI lang pwede siyang in English unit also L is the length of the shaft o yung haba ng shaft mo G is the shear modulus of rigidity so nat discuss na naman natin to from the previous module and again J is the polar moment of inertia so saan yung units niya is in mm raised to 4 or units raised to 4 next to that we have the power transmitted by the shaft. So this is denoted by the symbol capital letter P. Okay, so this is your formula. So a shaft rotating with a constant angular velocity, so denoted by omega. Ito yung uh, Greek symbol under a lower case. So ganito yung symbol niya. So para siyang pinasosyal na letter W. Or mukha rin siyang ano eh. Diba? So this is in radians per second. So, pag radian, ito is parang unitless lang din. Ano? So, guys, please, pakikabisado ako ng mga units mo in uh, angular velocity or yung omega. Kasi, aside from this, meron din tayo ng mga RPM. Kung maalala yung RPM, that is just the revolution per minute. So, pakirecall na rin ako ng mga conversion mo kung sa revolution, kung ilang ilang radian ba ang equivalent doon, ilang degrees. Ayan. So, baka sa conversion kayo madali dito. Okay? So, the power transmitted by the shaft is given by this equation. T is just equals to the torque multiplied by the angular velocity. Or also, that is equals lang din kay 2 pi multiplied by T times F. Or this is the frequency. Okay? Okay, so ito naman pala. Binigay rin naman. So again, T is in torque which is normally in Newton meter. F is the number of revolution per second and P is the power in watts. Ayan, meron din tayo units for power ah. So meron tayong horsepower, watts, kilowatts and alamin nyo kung ano yung uh, pag in expand si watts, equals lang din ba siya saan? So saan equals ang watts? So di ba yan ay equals lang sa joules per seconds? And yung joules mo, saan siya sa equals? So yung joules mo is equals lang sa newton meter or yung unit mo na torque. Okay? So, wag malilito. Again, pa-review ako ng mga units na mga yan. Okay, so para mas maunawaan nyo, let's discuss or let's solve problems for this topic.